I lost on my single chance. How are y'all doing? Because Sega's are not talking about the PlayStation 6. <laughs> Sega's are even talking about the PlayStation 6. The PS5 Slim is not even out. The PS5 Pro is not even out. And now we are talking about the PlayStation 6. Let's go for six likes on the video. Get your pitch in, Forex Gamers, and roll it. If you just got your hands on a PS5, let alone a PS5 Slim, there's already murmurs about a PlayStation 6. Bruh. I'm not kidding. This comes. How many of you guys ended up getting a PS5? What year did you buy? I bought it like day one, so I gotta be real, right? It's almost gonna be three years and we are struggling to get games. Yeah, we got God of War, we got Spider-Man 2, yeah, we got Horizon. But still, these are only three games. Where are the games? I remember the PS3 era, bro. I remember I remember the PlayStation 4 era alongside three, Xbox 360 and Xbox One era, right? Man, it felt like the games were coming out like like this, bro. Like, tick, 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 tick. We, it felt like that we were getting bangers after bangers, though, multiple times a year. And in this day and age, we're lucky to get just one decent game in a year. 100 games comes out, 90 of them are completely trash, broken at launch. Five of them are gonna be mid, and three of them are gonna be pretty high, but and two of them are gonna be masterpieces. Out of 100, though. Comes from like GamingBible.com. I'll read it to you, then we'll discuss. Okay. Despite no confirmation of a release date for the PlayStation 6, a date has recently surfaced online and fans are already agreeing that it is way too soon, which I don't what? know if I agree with. I mean, PlayStation officially did confirm that like they're not going to be releasing PlayStation 6 before 2027. And this was revealed during court hearing uh, 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 when you know the FTC was fighting when uh, daddy phil spencer was trying to acquire call of duty when activision was like on the throne on the on the floor when she was stuck she was like help me you know what i'm saying that's when phil spencer came out yeah. you know tried to help her out uh sony jim ryan also tried but got rejected and during that rejection he did reveal the fact that playstation 6 is gonna be coming out not before the year 2027 so we know it's not gonna be coming out before 2027 maybe it's gonna be by the end of 2027 or 2028 but let's see Th that it's way but too it soon because you'll see in a second posted to reddit gaming leaks and rumors one contributor has shared that the ps6 may be released in 2028 remember oh, wow. take this with a super tiny grain of salt or later nah, bro i'm gonna be taking it five kilos of salt bruh according to playstation <laughs> lifestyle the rumor was courtesy of an article by the owner of insider gaming tom henderson who oh, understands damn. that the next generation of playstation the ps6 is unlikely to release until at least 2028 which yeah. i i mean tw that's like eight years bro that is eight years how is that soon now to be honest though i guess it might be the uh, it might be me and there's a lot more that i want to show you as well but emergency meeting real quick how many of you think that we should not get ps5 pro or any mid-gen xbox four years or five years after the initial console in this uh for this example where we got ps5 in 2020 and we're now hearing that ps5 pro is going to be coming out next year which is going to be 2024 so in 2024 four years after instead of that just drop playstation 6 in 2025 or 2026 so that would be six years later or five years later like the video if you agree or do you prefer like mid-gen in between uh, i personally don't mind it because I, i'm gonna be doing youtube so if it comes out sadly i would have to buy it okay sadly ladies and gentlemen i, I will trade in my sony point five to get a ps5 pro sadly though but the, the thing here is that we're also hearing that we're gonna be getting GTA 6 alongside it as well. Oh shit! Oh, and if that happens, it's gonna be really, really hard though. That think I think it's fine. With. That would be eight years after the PlayStation 5 was released. That's almost a decade. Yeah. Furthermore, this corresponds with the though. Sony document, which was released with the whole FTC filing yeah. with Microsoft buying Activision, blah, 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 which claimed the PS6 would be launched sometime after 2027. Yo, this game is Astro Bot, right? I never played it. I believe this comes in with, with the PS5, though. If looks all high, this though. is true, we can expect to see the PS5 Pro launch in 2024 oh, yeah, next with the year. PS6 following sometime in 2028, which would make sense. Y'all think is saying that we need PS5 Pro, though? I mean, let's be real. We, we don't need it, though. It's just like a one thing, right? I want to get it. I want to get it. I know a lot of seconds would be shaken, but man, I cannot imagine the hype, though. I agree with that. Like, even though I, I seriously don't want to buy the PS5 Pro, but I 
will, I would have to, bro. I would have to sell a kidney, though. And things are already saying it's gonna be 600 USD, which is easily gonna be 800 plus bruh. Canadian with the taxes and the currency exchange rate. If you're in Australia, bro, don't even try to look up for that. If you're in another country, don't even Google your currency exchange because, bro, man, it's Joe over, bro. Like, it's gonna be Joe over. But here's the thing, right? I do agree with the fact that. If we get the GTA 6, GTA 6 announcement and PS5 Pro announcement and both of them comes out in 2024 or early 2025, even mid 2025 for GTA 6 and PS5 Pro comes out holiday 2024, it's going to be ridiculously hype. I think this coming year is going to be insanely hype, not just for Call of Duty. I, Modern Warfare 3 sucks ass right now, but I think the next Call of Duty from Trek is going to be better though. At least that might be copium. You let me know, but I, I, I would like to be hopeful. I would like to be positive for once, for once. Give it one last chance, right? We're also hearing the next Battlefield game is in development. Uh, Uncharted rumors are flying around as well. Big fan of Uncharted, so do you guys want to see Uncharted? Let me know in the comments as well. Uh, the next God of War game is already in development as well. Alongside that, we're also hearing that we are going to hear about God of War DLC being announced at the Game Awards. So uh, that's going to be like an actual DLC, not like... Modern Warfare, I, I, I mean, they're not gonna call it a brand new game like Modern Warfare 3, Bruh. charge you $70 and still, uh, I, I still give you a DLC like they are doing. But maybe Sony's also gonna charge $70 for a God of War DLC. Bumbaka. You never know, we're gonna find out, but let's keep on. Life, PS5 uh, Pro, go, uh, another four years next-gen console. Although this is still a long way away, yeah. it is still a short time frame considering the PlayStation 5 is only three years years old yeah which, i agree i agree that means we have another five I years would, i would rather like ps5 uh or playstation 6 six years later than a ps5 pro four years later with no games you feel what i'm saying mm -hmm. uh, yeah a couple of games i get it i get it like god of war uh, uh, horizon spider-man 2 maybe when wolverine is gonna be out by that time i agree four games but damn bro like it wasn't like this back in my days bruh back in my days we would have good games we would have gta's call of duties Uncharted games, God of Wars, and we would also have a lot of story player, uh, single player games, uh, a lot of story games as well, bro. Some multiplayer games like Killzone in between as well, like SOCOM. Nowadays, it just feels like that. It's like movie games after movie games. It, it's either a banger or a snoozer, though, right? Like, there's no, like, nothing coming out. Here's with the PlayStation 5. Why is everyone making it like this is so rushed? So let's go back in time and, and think about it. So. There was a time where console life cycles were five years, okay? Yeah. When, the, when, 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 when? I mean, it always was seven years, if I'm not mistaken. And I, I would say seven years is a good enough time. Eight years is long, though. Like, don't get me wrong. It is long. It is long, my brothers. Let's go back. I'm going to... This is all coming off the top of my head. You go from let's start with the 16-bit era where oh, you had. Uh, okay, well, uh, I mean, he's going back to his boomer time. All right, uh, in I'm not 91, sure about that. you had the Super Nintendo. 89, 90, you had the Sega Genesis. 96, you had the N64. Okay, that's when that released in the states. I'm talking about in okay. from 1996 to 2001. Uh, that's when the N64 reigned supreme. Then they yeah, went. I was born in the 96, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh. Let me know your e year in the in the in the chat. Right On now. to the GameCube. Yes, I was right. I just double checked. I wanted to make sure. Then when you went from the GameCube to the Wii, the Wii released in 2006. I, I'm I'm not just like pointing out Nintendo here. Other companies do something similar too. But it really wasn't until the seventh generation that console life cycles started to stretch out. Then yeah. we got to the yeah, Xbox yeah. 360, which launched in 2005 and they launched the xbox one its successor in 2013 playstation 3 was uh in 2006 if i'm not mistaken man the xbox 360 era the ps3 era hands down was one of the best though i do admire the ps4 and xbox one era and that time period as well but nothing like the ps3 and 360 era man hands down one of the best though years playstation 3 launched in 2006 and yeah, the playstation yeah, yeah, 4 yeah. launched in 2013 that was only seven yeah, yeah. years and if you want to go from the wii to the wii u 2012 is when the wii u launched which ended up being and ps5 and series x came out in 2020 so seven years later and now we're hearing it's gonna be eight years that's that's a long time let me know your thoughts click on this video on the screen because they ended up leaking gta 6 that's right my brothers check it out and i'll see you right there is that game when is that game coming out nobody knows